What we're seeing in the world today is actually the rise of the social immune system that sees that something is extremely wrong and very, well, cancerous. And we, the social immune system, need to work to recognize the true root problem and then move to remove it. How should we feel about the 400 Americans that have more wealth than 150 million Americans combined? How should we feel about the top hedge fund managers that take home over $300 million a year? And for what? Do these hedge fund managers actually create anything? No!
The only reason the 1% have what they do is because the 99% continues to support all the elements that fuel the wealth of the 1%. Yeah. The system is literally designed to support the 1% over the 99. The American dream, which only exists for the 1%, it always did. Legal legislation, by the way, which, yes, is for sale in the open market. Just as all politicians are for sale in the open market. Just as all administration's policies in general are for sale in the open market, what did you expect when the whole system is based upon the buying and selling of property in power and hence influence? There is no escape from the influence of money with respect to governmental policy. Why? Because government in this system is nothing more than a business. That's all it can be. The system was always fascist at its very origin. It just took this long for the root of it to rise to the top because the cancer continues to grow. And now with the social immune system is noticing it. And that's the only difference. What we have today is a mere variation. It's institutional classism. And it is equally a civil rights issue as anything else that has ever existed. Until the root source is addressed, until a movement comes together globally, as it is slowly doing, that's willing to work together to override the system as it exists, not find a seat at the proverbial table, as so many say, but to establish a completely new table. No true... No long-term societal change is going to work.